No need bread Friday? Yes. So here I have a bread flour, just a white. And here I have a mixture of uh, different seed flours, just to give more protein into my bread. Mm -hmm. And I have a sesame seed flour, a pumpkin seed flour, and this brown thing is the uh, flax seed flour. Okay. So, so I'm going to f uh, sift all the flour through the sifter. <laughs> I'm laughing. Through the sieve. 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 <laughs> When well, you, you said something to me before when we were sat down, you said it, you have to sift it. You sift it and the bread is nice and, and full of air. So always sift your flour whenever you're making, whatever you're making. It's a tip. You have three cups of white flour and half a cup of mixed seeds flour. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been contacting us saying, what is this no need bread? So this is going to be fantastic for them. Although we will put a link to Jenny what was the name of the video, Look Jen? Look at those colors. Look at those colors. Uh huh. We're gonna have green bread, maybe. Green bread. Ooh. Aren't you happy? Yeah, especially if I get an Irish passport, I would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can make. What was the name of the, the lady you said in the YouTube video, Jenny? Jenny Cooks, is it? Uh, Jenny Cooks, I think. Yeah. 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 So this is something left over from mm -hmm. the seeds. That's it. I'd like to show everybody that we do have a British link. This is Fortnum and Mason. Okay, now into this you, but this is a Steve no need bread recipe. This is not Yanis. Yanis has a little bit less of flour and yeast. Okay. So now in this I put uh, one and a quarter teaspoon of yeast. Mm-hmm. Where's my quarter teaspoon? Is this quarter? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one teaspoon one teaspoon and a half of salt, but one teaspoon is enough. A little bit more. And then you mix everything while it's dry. Because you don't want to, this is like an easy lazy bread, you don't want to spend all your time mixing it with the, while it's hot, and you don't want to use your countertop. So mix, you're telling everybody that basically so you're lazy. So mix different flowers. I'm trying to find the easy way to... Uh, uh, easy. Hey, look at my chicken, this frosting. We're going to make curry today. Curry, look at it. <laughs> Leftovers from fasting. Yeah. Okay. Now, you move everything away. David to wash. It's my job. I'm the I'm the counter cleaner here. He's he's a counter cleaner and dishwasher cleaner. He gets paid five bucks an hour. <laughs> okay, now you need about uh, uh, you need 14 ounces of water, which is 440 14 millimeters, about cup and a half, slightly more than a cup and a half. But if you even if you have a little bit less, you won't make mistakes. So. So this recipe, as Steve would say, is forgiving. You need warm water. So if you don't have it, I think it should be less than 50 uh, Celsius. But if you don't have a thermometer, if you stick your finger and don't, if you don't scream, that means it's hot enough. Okay. Have you ever screamed in the past? No, because one minute is perfect. Okay. So it's getting dinged in the dinger in the microwave. And then you mix it all together. You wrap it in a wrap. I save my wrap. As much Recycling. As it's still good. You can use one wrap a few times. Mm -hmm. And that's the shape you you're going to keep everything. This is the shape nice you're going to put it in today. Yes. And this is a silicon shape. Yes. Ah, okay. I'm making like a bread loaf, like a sandwich loaf. Sandwich loaf. So once again, we have the water. It's got to be. So you can put your finger in and not get it burnt. Yeah, Dump it in here. You need warm water because this is a quick bread. This is not overnight mm -hmm. loaf. How much was the water again? 400 milliliters, was it? 440 milliliters. 440 milliliters. You do it until you get all the things. Maybe my measuring wasn't all that proper, so maybe I just need a little bit more water, but I'm not putting any more. A bit more if you want. Mix 
the flowers properly. Clean your spatula. And you cover it. And leave. We reuse our plastic, by the way. And this is going to become a sandwich loaf in this silicon form. Yeah. Shape, form. I think it's called a form. Um. This is pretty quick so far. Now I let it rise. Three times 30 minutes and I fold it. I just fold it every 30 so minutes. So you're going to wait 30 minutes. Or you can wait an hour and a half and then you... Uh, but your top tip it. is 30 minutes and then what do you do? Take this off? And then I just fold the bread. Like I don't need it but I just fold it. Yeah. So 30 minutes is up. This is the first time I'm folding it. So the first 30 minutes. And how many times will you fold it? Three times. Three. And not so twice after this. Yes. So I just, I just do this. Just like, just like fold it. Give it a, like a little steer. I do this three times. Cover it so that all the So it's in the form. Yes, it's in the form. And so now does it take? To, yes, for another thirty minutes. Another thirty minutes. Thirty to sixty minutes. <sighs> On a warm place. In a warm place. Do you cover it as well? Uh, you should, but I'm not. I don't. I have nothing to cover with it. Smells them. really nice. Yeah, it does. It's going to be nice. So the next thing is after that, you, we put it in the oven. Yes. And then we bake it, yeah. and then it comes, cools down, and then we... Eat it. Eat it. But this time, because it's, uh, we should wrap it in a... You wrap it in this. Mm -hmm. So it gets nice and soft. Cool. That's it. Done. So all the proofing's finished. Okay, now it's been sitting in this thing for 30 minutes uh -huh. and it took, takes about 10 minutes for my oven to heat to 200. And now we're going to put it in. I'm using the gloves because I always touch the sides of the oven and get myself burnt. So now let's it. How long will it stay in there for? 40 minutes and 205. Okay, so the bread should be finita. Let's switch this off. Watch the heat. So, look at that perfect sandwich mm. bread. It didn't rise much because I pressed it down so it keeps its okay. shape and density. So now, look at that. Now we're gonna wrap him up in a in the towel. In a towel, so because when you see it's very hard, so you want the how do you call this? The crust. The crust will stay a little bit crunchy, but you want it to be steamed inside so it softens up just a little bit. No. And that is no need bread. That's a no need bread. There's another style that you can make it using a Dutch oven, but I don't have Dutch oven. I have this. So sometimes I make square sometimes I make round and then I bake it like this mm -hmm. and it's really lovely okay so the next thing is cools down and then we eat it yeah thank you very much you're welcome and see you later how did it turn out lovely look at it mm -hmm. so soft still crunchy and now we're gonna smash it some peanut butter so what's on here? Uh, garlic putter. Garlic putter. Can Kreuter putter. Can I try this then? No, that's mine. You do yours. Okay. Well, you try yours first. I'm going to try it now. Hmm. Tamara's version of Kreuter putter. Really nice. I will eat the whole loaf now. You have to make another one in a minute. No.